Welcome back to the show. The guys were constantly coming in with crazy ideas to keep the show interesting, and they did a pretty good job of that. So here's what they came up with this time. Okay, welcome to Weasel of Fortune. I'm your host, Angelo Cataldi. Barbara. And with us, we've got a whole bunch of guests and people. We're gonna have a little fun with a game, all right? Now, let me first of all explain the Weasel of Fortune rules as best I can. We have the wheel here. We will be spinning the wheel by virtue of what the wheel turns up. That will determine the category of question. This will test the knowledge of our sports experts. <laughs> and three bobos we found on the street. <laughs> okay, now, the person, if you look way over to the side, you will see the puzzle. The puzzle names a famous sports weasel, all right? And, and as someone gets a question correct, we will pull some of the squares off there, and we'll do it. Now, we have our own Vanna White with us, and that would be wearing the Troy Aikman number eight. Woo! Ooh. Lovely Barbara. All right. And now for the winners of this contest, they will receive free gift certificates at the Hungry Pilgrim right here in the Plymouth Meeting Mall. All right. Are we ready to begin? First, let me let us introduce. No, you can't. I must introduce our contestants first. We'll start with this young lady here. Yes, ma'am. Your name? I'm Rosemary Mintel. All right, Rosemary. And what do you do for a living? I um, work in the alumni office at the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School, and I am a hockey widow. A hockey widow, okay. All right, and little girl, your name? Kendall Frick. All right. and how old are you, Kendall? Nine. And Kendall, <laughs> what grade are you in in school? Fourth. All right, that would already place you ahead of Al in educational experience. <laughs> All right? And yes, sir? Mike Saltis. All right, Mike, and what do you do for a living? I go to school. Oh, who the hell? Let's get down here. Who the hell told you to wear that jersey today? <laughs> I dress myself. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you might want to find to some it? female companionship soon, sir. All right, are we ready? Yeah. Are we going to begin this? Yep. All right, let us begin. Now, what we will do is spin the wheel, right, Glenn? Mm -hmm. and challengers now, go first. And the challengers will go first. So you will have the first answer to give. All right, there goes the wheel. Excitement building. <laughs> and the question is a basketball question. All right. Now I look on the list for the basketball question. <laughs> You're prepared. And here it comes. All right. <laughs> Here is a question for the bozos off the street. Okay, Three Stooges time. Which member of the Three Stooges is named after the 76ers coach? Oh, hey! No, yes, wait, I think that? Kendall may know. I don't know. No. Mo. Mo is the correct answer. <laughs> what, what, what kind of question? Is that? It's a completely valid question. Totally valid question. All right, go ahead. Take a square. Take any square you want over on the board. Guess a letter. Guess a letter. An A? Are there any A's? We are not buying vowels here tonight, although separate transactions can be made with me. There's an A. All right. There is another A coming up on the board now. Whoa! Whoa! And a free T! Hey! When do we go? I, All right, are we ready? You keep doing that. All right, and we will go to the next question, yes. okay? And here comes the next question. <laughs> and that is a baseball question. All right, does that go to who now? That goes to them, although Jason would know. Now make this one a little, this little more difficult than last time. Much more challenging question. <laughs> I'm looking up the baseball questions. I have it right you here really now. You got this all figured out. All right, here it comes. Who holds the Phillies record for homers in a career? Mike Schmidt. <laughs> Mike Schmidt. We knew and that. The, and the answer is Mike Schmidt, you are correct! <laughs> well, they're good at this. <laughs> they're good questions. at this. Who wrote uh, this question? What? Go ahead, Seymour, take, on a, take one of the things. How about a T? <laughs> a T. <laughs> Again, correct with the T. Interesting board <laughs> developing. Hmm. People beginning to wonder. A T at the top as well. Okay, ready for the next round. Here we go. Did we get any? <laughs> and this is a football question for the bozos. When do we get to go? When they miss. We must earn it. All right. Which team won Sunday's Super Bowl? Go ahead. Go, Kendall. Dallas. Dallas. Kendall is correct. Come on, let us go. Okay, take another letter. R. Is there an R up there? 
No. Hey, no, there is no oh, Okay, we're in. it's time for the boys. Okay, we're rolling now. You give us questions like that, my friend, and it's we are ready to go. <laughs> Whew. Basketball. Basketball? All right, Jason, you're our basketball guy? Uh, Fenway's taking this one. All right. <laughs> Give us another one of those Doug Moe questions. Yeah, we're ready for that one. I don't have a basketball, this is a hockey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm improvising here, it's a hockey question. What was the Flyers' all-time record when Kate Smith sang God Bless America? Let's go, Al. Al? Al knows this, he knows this. It's easy. 92 and seven. Incorrect. <laughs> All right, the answer was 59, 12, and three. You're a dumb. Nice. Right. That's it for us? And the answer is a baseball question. <laughs> this isn't fair. What, what is there this game? Go. Something is amiss here. Which team plays in Yankee Stadium? <laughs> it's either the Mets or the Yankees. That's not the Yankees. The Yankees is correct. Choose oh, a letter. Hold on right? a second. A letter there. Oh. E. An E. There is an E, yes. There is an E. Quickly, we move on. <laughs> and, the, and it's a football question. <laughs> what was that spin? <laughs> and the football question is, it's an important one now. This is key to the game. He has a ridge haircut. He didn't allow his parents to attend no, the Super Bowl. No, he coached no. the winning team Sunday. No. Who is he? <laughs> Candle. <laughs> Dick Vermeil. <laughs> Dick Vermeil is not correct. Hey, we have a shot. Hey. We're still in the right. ball game. <laughs> Spin We're the wheel. Still in the ball game. All right. Uh, you hockey. got another hockey for us? A uh, hockey. Yes, I do. I have a football for you. Thank you. <laughs> Who holds the Eagles' single season <laughs> record Ooh, for points after touchdowns? <laughs> uh, that was. Whoa. Pardon me? <laughs> Who holds the Eagles' season, single season record for points after touchdowns? Single season. Tony Franklin. Incorrect, Cliff Patton, 1948, he had 50. All right, it's, we're getting down to the final moments of the game. They better uh, candy, candy bozos, do you have an answer for the puzzle? Just have him guess letters. No, all right, we'll take it to the experts. So the experts have I, an answer. I have a hunch, is the second word Angelo? Hmm. Huh. It's not the, done deep. What is this? Would the third word <laughs> Hold on possibly a minute be Cataldi? And would the first word host. be host? It's host. Host Angela She got it first. She got it first. She got it first. She, got it first. she guessed it first. You guys are stinking losers. The Buffalo Bills of Weasel of Fortune. We want to thank everybody who showed up here tonight. We appreciate you coming by, and we want to thank them all, the Plymouth Media Mall. We'll see you next week on the Great Sports Debate. Angelo probably would have made a better Vanna White, but that's just me. And as you've seen, the great sports debate shows from the local malls were quite popular. Thanks for being with us today and going back to the Plymouth Meeting Mall in February 1993. For the panel, I'm Colleen Wolf, and you never know what you'll see, so join us next time on the great sports debate from the vault.